My subject is the female body, the body structure, its framing, the way it is perceived, interpreted, and understood. I'm interested how the body can be transformed through technological interventions, physical or virtual, and how these technological interventions can challenge conventional understandings of the body. By bringing together the concrete and the imagined or imaginable, the stark evidence of an anatomy and the dynamics of technological layering, I'm interested in starting a conversation on the potential of technology to cast the body not as a sum of its limits, but as an unbounded, multiple entity, freely embodying its futures. I often immerse myself in the latest research across various disciplines, bionics, archaeology, feminist studies, philosophy, fashion history, and so forth, in order to ground my creative process and inform the technologies which I use. I'm often asked whether I always wanted to be an artist. It is less a question, I think, of always wanting to be, and more that my way of thinking has always been inclined toward the possibilities of the aesthetic. Starting with my childhood in Greece, where the presence of classical ruins introduced me to sculptural thinking, at the same time as it expanded my imagination. Fragments of sculptures harbor stories, which we are free to invent. This heritage is very important to my work. Later, as a professor at the City University of New York and as a student at Tisch NYU, I engaged in research spanning topics from foundations of cognition to emerging technologies. This diverse background in particular grounds my work. And when I come up against categorical limits, I look for overlap. I observe disruption and I embrace it. My recent work takes the bones and the flesh as points of departure, a highly concrete form on the one hand, an armature, so to speak, and on the other, a covering, a kind of protective layer. This approach is a consequence of prior reflections on the question of essence. What is essential to the body? And does essence require fixity? Or can it bend and change with the idea? In my art practice, I use a wide range of materials and processes, both physical and virtual, that allow me to go beyond static classifications and interpretations. Thus, bones and flesh can be represented in a number of ways. They do not need to obey to a fixed idea of the body. I combine classical techniques, such as stone carving, casting, and draping, with digital fabrication, digital imaging, and medical imaging. I use excessive physical and digital processes to transform materials so that they allude to the female body. The technological intervenes on the traditional, and by extension, on its modes of representation. And it is as time-intensive as it sounds, because its medium demands an understanding of its particular constraints. In that material is not only the core of the presentation of a thing, it is also a site of possible transcendence, and this is precisely my interest, how a layering of physical and technological processes can disrupt existing preconceptions of the female body. This exhibition includes two of my three-dimensional works and several works on paper. In the Bon War Abandon, one of my three-dimensional works, I combine classical techniques such as casting and draping with digital fabrication and digital imaging, as well as synthetic materials. I mean to reference traditional art historical depictions at the same time as I challenge conventional ways of understanding. In this work, the bone fragment, rendered in cement, stands in for the body. Layers of fabric and silicone become the flesh, but also the dress. The successive physical and digital processes give the body a kind of freedom while referring back to its origins. The bones dressing, bare essentials number one, enacts a certain series of transformations. The bone becomes flesh, but also dress-like. The body becomes its dressing, but is also wounded and marked in this process. It is a kind of tactile testament to a personal history. Here, I see technology as liberation. It allows the discovery of new forms and matter. But I also see it as a painful transformation. It challenges the body to recast itself and to move beyond the familiar. In allowing the ball to shape its own form, I mean to challenge the notion of fixity that can be material or ideological. The bones as flesh is a series of digital drawings based on the anatomy of the femur. I looked at the anatomical features of the bones' extremities. These raw biological blueprints became a stage for digital manipulation. In this series, the bones' anatomical features are made to stand alone in a kind of dissociation of the functional position, breaking free from rigid constraints. Framed, the bone as flesh, the second series of digital drawings, is based on the bones as flesh series. Using my own work as raw material allows me to story tell by successive transformations. I mean to demonstrate how these successive transformations can represent a revolution in perspective. When I use the word framed, I mean to suggest again that I represent here not the bone as it is, 
but the bone as it is seen to be, or as it could be framed by the viewer. And I try to modify or recast this framing to make it mobile, flexible, even mysterious. I recently started on a new project involving medical imaging, that is X-rays and MRIs. A friend shared her X-rays and I also have my own. I want to repurpose these images so that what is inside rises to the surface to recast itself.